Oh, Panel, it's now time, as I just said, to meet our special guest for the evening. And ladies and gentlemen, two of the most important words in the history of American jazz and popular music, Louis Armstrong. <laughs> No seating. Yeah, too long. Nice to have you with us again, Louie. Thank you. And I'm delighted that you brought along your trumpet there, your horn. No, that's not my horn. You borrowed it from somebody, did you? Yeah. Well, that's a good question. Now, why would Louis Armstrong borrow a horn, a trumpet, I wonder? Let's whisper about that and we'll straighten the whole story out right now. Mm hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Panel, the clue concerns something that happened, and we'll let Bill Cullen start putting the questions to Louie now. Louie, you didn't bring your own horn, you brought somebody else's. Would you, if you could, uh, would you have brought your own horn had it been possible? <laughs> I just want you to dig this one. <laughs> Is is this Louie a famous horn you have? <laughs> that my first golf. <laughs> what? We missed that. <laughs> well, since they don't uh, dig scoff, I guess we're still straight here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we can still play the game whatever, a little bit. Whatever it is, I didn't dig it. Uh, uh, Louis, uh, did this horn? Was this horn famous for one particular thing? Would well, we, yes, sir. Would we know that? Twenty dollars down. Uh, you're on the right track, Bess. You would know this horn, uh, Louis. Um, I know that you've been doing some wonderful work for the State Department, traveling all over the world. Did you perhaps pick this horn up in another place other than the United States? This horn? Yeah. No. Uh, did it ever belong to you? Yeah, what time? When you when, when you first started playing? When I was a little young. When you're a little. <laughs> 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 Louis, Louis uh, was it uh, was it your first horn? Just about. And do we have to know how old it is or how it came back to you? Well, well, uh, yes, in a yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, You've you just about got it. Henry, you want to uh, underline it? Um? Yeah, the second uh, card is what we're trying to get now. Uh, we, we have established that this is the horn of which he took his first lessons. Let's assume that now. All right. Now, did you, um, did it, did it have a, a life of its own after it uh, left you? Did it, uh, did you hock it or something and then you didn't see it for some years? <laughs> and then one day you ran into a fella and he said, guess whose old horn I have? <laughs> well, the day looked too bent up to hock, you know. <laughs> But it's uh, a life of its own, and yeah. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> yeah. Now, did you did you give this horn, say, to the Smithsonian or no? Huh? Well, uh, not the Smithsonian. <laughs> <laughs> is there a, is there a, a home where old horns go? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it was uh, put away and uh, highly respected all through the years. Uh, mm -hmm. one then it must be in a, in, a, in a public place of some kind, huh? A public place? Yeah. Although it isn't. Like what? Uh, <laughs> oh, the Museum of Natural History? Or... <laughs> In a minute, what, you're, places, what you're going for, Henry, is not so much where the horn has been hanging out all this time. But what it's been doing? No, uh, how uh, it came back at this particular time to Louis. That's what you want to find out. <laughs> Secret, uh. Thank you. That's the first I've known what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> Did somebody give it back to you? Somebody we know? Somebody I don't think you know. Somebody but, uh, we know by name, I mean. By name? We, we know the person. I know the person. <laughs> well, that's only half of it. I know. $60 down. Betsy? Mr. Armstrong, was this person your teacher? Huh? The man Oliver? The person
Well, that is substantially it. I told you now that Louis uh, borrowed the trumpet. We'll meet now uh, the gentleman uh, who was the director of the home. Uh, he borrowed the trumpet uh, from this gentleman for sentimental reasons uh, because it was 53 years ago this week that Louis moved into the Waif's home down in New Orleans. And it was there that he took his first music lessons on this very instrument. Let me show it to you just so you see that it really looks its age. It's all old and beat up.